Art in my life is, I, I had no plan B, let me put it that way, okay? The arts have, and music in particular, that's my passion. But it's the joy that I, that I get from music, and in particular at this stage of my life, working with talented young performers that really nurture my soul. I found dance when I was probably five years old, I would say. I found, found my passion for dance. Like, I knew I wanted to be a dancer, and uh, it just never went away. In terms of BC art, I feel like the artists, the dance artists here, um, they're so talented. I get inspired by a lot of my students and the youth in our community, actually. My day-to-day -day life at school, of course, is working with kids grade 8 to 12 in band and choir and symphony orchestra. So there's a lot of very different experiences there that go on throughout the year. It's as much artistically fulfilling for me as I think it is for them. The arts is everything in my life. Uh, it's, you know, it's, been, it's shaped everything that I do. I mean, other than, than family, it's, uh, it's extremely important to me, and uh, I see it in everything that I do every day. Dialogue and filmmaking intensive part of our programs take place in BC. We bring Israeli and Palestinian youth over here from the region to talk to each other and then make films together about the conflict. So the filmmaking component, the art part of the project, is uh, incredibly impactful because it takes the dialogue to a completely different level. I am significantly impacted by arts in a regular basis, mostly by ordinary moments. Um, from the courageous woman that decided to sing in her walk, to words that were written on a wall by a poet, or um, the person who left a word written out with leaves on the grass. Uh, I had a, a serious accident. When I was uh, 23 years old, I lost both my legs in, in an automobile accident. And uh, everyone in my family was so worried about what I was going to do. And, and so music uh, came to play the pivotal role in my life. But there's something that happens with music. When you're fully involved in singing, fully involved in, in playing, I'm not talking about humming along, pain goes away. I mean, it's a serious physical thing. I, I could, it was the one way I could make the pain go away. I would like to really put um, BC on the map in terms of our dance culture, basically. I really feel like we have so much talent here and as dancers we need to come together and be connected more and really represent like more of a uh, united front and um, use it in BC as a way to promote tourism. I struggle with the idea that everyone is trying to do this on their own and that much more could be achieved together if there was um, a funding policy to help companies and, and producers create programs or to create that access. You see, the arts and the culture in schools, that's the first thing that gets cut, because, well, we can't afford that. But you can't afford not to have that, because this is where people learn about their inner strength and about the things that will take them through the rest of their lives. I would love to see the arts used more for conflict transformation in general. Um, conflict transformation to be sustainable requires so much more than cognitive rational uh, modes of expression. It requires the arts. It requires something that gives voice to feelings and thoughts that defy words. You're passionate about the things you, you want to uh, do, the music, uh, you want to share it with people and the venues that are around to share that with are very limited and they tend to be you know bigger blockbuster venues so so what's missing i think is the um, the smaller the grassroots approach to these intimate concerts i think the challenge we have as people in the arts we need to mobilize people to fill that gap and we need to train people that we can be a profitable entity away from education. We have a serious problem with infrastructure. We don't have venues. We don't have places for people to rehearse uh, that are you know, soundproof or that uh, you know, painters can paint where there's lots of light or sculptors work, uh, places for writers to gather. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's incumbent upon the government to put more emphasis on providing a structure. Who is creating this policy? Who is writing this policy? There are all kinds of issues and problems that we need to 
that we face when we navigate the systems. And it is only when the actual policy changers experience those problems that the issues can actually be addressed. The job of a scientist, for example, is to find out how things are working. I think it's the job of the artist to tell us as to why that is. And that's an endless journey, to find the why. The arts are important because it's a reflection of who we are and is the way how we can open space to transformation. I feel that the art in our lives, no matter if it's the music, if it's uh, acting, if it's uh, painting, if it's dance, it, it gives us that opportunity to, to find the strength and solace within ourselves. And in doing so, we can share that with other people and, and make them realize that they have that strength and that ability to heal within themselves. The arts are everywhere. How can they not be important?